Uh, battery room, battery room, where are you at? Oh. <laughs> the one highlighted falcon, yes! The one highlighted staring me right in the face. What, okay? I have issues paying attention sometimes, okay? It's like mild ADD. It's a grown man. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon's Basement series of Malicious Intent, obviously because we're selling drugs. And also, number two, because I have the worst luck with save files. Right now, we're okay, nothing happened between the last recording and this one, but that's because I didn't even take the chance of quitting the game and reloading just in case something went down, so... Again, I mentioned last episode, in case you did not catch that one. Um, we've had a, a few issues, number one, with an update that saved my... that deleted my first save file. And then we had just a straight-up weird bug that completely wiped everything from the map. There was no buildings, no people, no nothing. We were doing really good with that run, too, which I kind of started off-camera. So we had, a, like, a little bit of a leg up. We lost that save file, I had to re-verify my cache on Steam to make it work. Everything's working fine again, but I did mention, if you guys are upset with me having to restart again and again, understandable. So let me know with this video and the last one too, if you guys want to see me go beyond this point, I will. If not, we'll probably wrap it up after this one, and I hope you at least enjoyed what minimal progress I made because of issues with save files I was having. So, and I hope you guys have better luck with that too, I've been having just terrible luck with them so far. But so be it, I do enjoy the game, but, you know, maybe it's just a single problem for me. I'm just a very unlucky, uh, unlucky, unfortunate individual about it. Anyway though, we actually have money now, which is pretty good because we were struggling around the first time, or at least last episode, because we barely had to start up from the ground up. As you can see, we're up to 1,391 now, which actually does let me throw some money around finally, so let's actually continue with hollowing. Hollow this hole out, I know I'm throwing a lot of money with this, but again, my idea is that I like to get the layout in my head happening before I start moving some rooms around here. So. As you can see, our production is actually relatively fine for what's happening up here. Uh, I'm almost getting a little, a little antsy feeling where I'm thinking, can I open up one more stall? I almost want to say maybe, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I really want to. Uh, let's find out about the upgrade to the dealer room before we make that decision, though. If we start looking at this here, we have stamina. He's going to be settling for longer without getting so tired. Uh, this will be serve customers quickly, which is always pretty good as well and junkies and customers. Again, with this one, it's, it's kind of, uh, you gotta make sure you have the productivity happening because if you start getting people in and out faster, yes, you're selling more, but at the same time, you're running out of product faster, so you gotta make sure you definitely have enough productivity happening before you want to invest in that one. So maybe just an extra junkie or customer would be pretty good right now? What do you guys think? Do we have enough productivity? I think we have enough productivity right now for two people. So we'll go with the cashier for one, and we'll keep it this way. Weed is again a lot faster to make than acid, so one of the issues we had with last time when we were going through the acid really fast is because we only had two stalls that were selling faster and we only had two people, low level people mind you, producing acid, so it was kind of giving us a little bit of a bottleneck. So this should be fine because we do have some pretty decent producers now, and our sellers aren't exactly the greatest just yet, so it does take them a bit longer to sell some um, marijuana here, so that's okay. Um. So this is pretty good so far. As you can see, we're keeping the shelves stocked. We're up to 1,118. Let's continue hollowing some more areas around here. Boom. Boom. Just get all this out of the way now. Okay. Do that one too. That's okay. I'm broke again, but that's okay. Everything is completely now opened up for me. I can see clearly now that the rain has gone. Or in this case, now that the ground has gone. Excuse me? What are you doing here? You're supposed to leave too. Get out of here. Okay, now I can see clearly that the ground is gone. Perfect. Was that a reference to, I can see clearly now that the rain has gone? Yes. Terrible singing aside, yes, that was a reference right there. Okay, so we're keeping those things stocked really well, as a matter of fact. So much that I really want to open up an extra stall. Do I want to do that now? I kind of do. I kind of do, let's be honest here. Let's go ahead and hire another seller, hopefully. 1.6 on Floyd, not too bad. I will go ahead and pick up old Floyd. Floyd, where you at, dog? Hanging out over here? Just go and, um, you know, hang out for a bit longer. Oh, you're over here. Are you eyeing that same girl, too? What is it with this chick? Everybody likes this chick. I can't even highlight her. I don't even know what her name is. I better not be Ivan as well. Is that Ivan again? <laughs> Sorry, Ivan, if you heard me. I <laughs> No offense, but, you know, you kind of have a dude's name. Let's be honest here. Um, I'm not too crazy about the layout of this door. I would have preferred this being in the corner so I could have another selling... Station right here, here, and then we just move over here. But now this guy's gonna be all the way coming down this way to pick this up and come back. So that's gonna slow him down a little bit. The dude that has the best over here is gonna be Eddie. So what I could do is then just have one of the 
better vendors move over here, and then we'll have the new guy, Floyd, move over to one of the closer ones. I think it would work out pretty good. So let's find out who's the better seller here. We have Eddie at 2.6, about to cap out, and we have Floyd. That's the guy we just hired. Floyd, move out of the way, please. You're in the way. Uh, Vince is 2.5, a lot more leveling to do, so it's going to probably have to be Vince over here, and we'll move you over there. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so are we ready for that now? Absolutely we are, I think. <laughs> this is going to backfire on me, isn't it? We don't have enough electricity, though. Of course we don't. Of course. No, actually, we do. We absolutely do. I was looking at the wrong one. So, um, dealer room. Yes. Let's have sellability 5, sellability 7, and, hmm, 80, 85. Three more customers would be pretty ideal, let's be honest here. It's going to require a bit more power, which we should have for. The only problem is we're getting... I mean, $5 less is really not a big deal for an extra customer. Huh. I kind of want to, but because of the sellability being high, I do believe we're going to actually go through our stock pretty fast. So we actually require a third person cooking as well, which we don't have room for just yet. So let's just start off with this one. We might, you know, break it down in the future for the upgrade. But for now, let's just go with that one. Let's not really poke the bear right now. The bear is fine and sleeping. Let's not bother him right now. Um, we want to move this down here as well. Do we have enough money for that? Soon enough, we would be. So let's just wait it out here for a second. Uh, we're saying you are moving over here, right? Okay, and you're moving to that station. Alrighty, there we go. Three vending stations, all good. We should be able to upgrade this bad boy too. How much power do we have left over here? We have one power left over. Not enough for an upgrade, obviously. Okay. That's fine, because we're about to make another battery room down here. So, we'll probably end up doing that. Oh, you are the slowest dude right now, so you should be taking that spot over. No, excuse me, my friend. You are going to be selling. You, my friend, are going to be selling here. You. No, you. Floyd, over here. There you go. Okay. You guys might want to, might want to get some rest, too. You're, you're a little bit tired here. Sell to her, and then who is this? That's, um, Don... <laughs> <laughs> female named Donald. I guess the names are all jacked up now. We had a, fe a female named Ivan. Now we have a Donald. Uh, let's get the other restroom happening as well. So we have more room for people to sleep or not sleep, but rest up whenever they needed. We have a few extra hands now, so we might as well get that happening. That's good. Our productivity is, as you can see, still amazing up here. So that's not even a problem. Get some rest. There you go. Good. Good on you. Uh, let's see. You know what, then? Oh, yeah, we need the battery room before that actually happens. I'll leave this one around. In the bottom room, I just want the um, employee rooms and the bad rooms anyway, so we'll upgrade this bad boy. That should be enough for the upgrade now, I hope. Yes, okay. So, one more customer or faster selling? What do you guys think? We're at 7 of 10 right now. We have a bunch of product, don't we? So, with a bunch of product, I say we go with just optimizing our selling, right? Yeah. Sell faster, get people in and out, sell fine. Okay. So, the product is actually ideal right now, and we have the power... <laughs> Literally, the power right here. Not the power of knowledge. If we had the power of knowledge, we probably wouldn't be selling drugs here to the communities, but that's a different case. Let's go ahead as well, since we have extra money now, let's go ahead and build the other battery room here so we can demolish the one up here. And let's see, we might as well upgrade this... Oh, power, right. Hmm. So, more than likely, we're going to have to actually move, demolish, and then move this one down here, too. In addition to that one. Yeah. Okay. That's all right, we could deal with that. So let's upgrade you now. And we'll get another one up here too. Uh, battery room, battery room, where are you at? Oh, <laughs> the one highlighted falcon, yes. The one highlighted staring me right in the face. What, okay? I have issues paying attention sometimes, okay? It's like mild ADD. It's a grown man. I think, I actually think I probably did have it as a kid. Like, my mom has told me stories about how hyperactive I was. Like, whenever she would take me anywhere, like, I'd just be grabbing everything. I'd, I was like a troublemaker, which is actually pretty interesting because nowadays, uh, like, if I'm in a location with a bunch of people that I know and stuff, I'm, I normally try to be, I'm, I can be sometimes a bit loud. I try to, like, to be the center of attention in terms of, like, you know, bringing life to the party, you know? I'm always talking, always making jokes. I, well, I like to see people laugh, essentially, right? So that's my thing. But if I'm, like, in a situation where I don't really know people, or I'm, like, in a formal gathering, I'm just very, like, you know, quiet, you know, removed. I will talk when I have to, but... So it's, like, a really crazy contrast to when I was a kid, where I was just, like, this little 
whirlwind of disaster. And nowadays, I'm just kind of like, hey, what's up? I don't really sound that way. Actually, I, well, I kind of do, but I don't say, hey, what's up? It makes me sound like I'm some sort of, like, you know, thug from Jersey or something. Like, uh, like a thug uh, for hire, mind you. Like, you know, I'm over here, like, up at a bouncer's club or something. Not that I would ever be a bouncer. I don't think anybody would ever be intimidated by me if I was a bouncer, but that's besides the point. <laughs> All the things that we talk about in this series. That's the one thing I do like about this, like, the fact that I just get to just chill here for a while, let these guys do their drug vending, and I just talk shit for a while. It's a pretty good combination. But anyway, uh, we are at move power. We have 33 of 65. We have so much power, but this one has to be the most right now. So that's going to drop down to 50. That's still a good adequate amount. Uh, I'm thinking, have we upgraded you already? Yes, we have. And we have upgraded everything, right? Selling, selling, and this is the CCTV one. Okay, so for the most part, that's all good, all good to go. Let's start doing some training rooms so we get some people over here training. I think that's a good idea. Let's go so upgrade this bad boy too. Uh, we should get one of the healing ones as opposed to the um, resting ones too, right? So we'll get this one as the healing one. So we'll have rest and the heal one. Perfect. And let's go ahead and start getting some people trained over here. So we'll place this one here and we might want to get two of them happening. And place this here. I think two is a pretty good number. Our money is still pretty good. We're making, like, you know, almost, you know, a little over half a thousand a day, which is still relatively fine. And everything's over here moving smoothly is a problem. Well, not the problem, it's actually the good thing that it's moving smoothly. We're actually kind of um, producing a little bit less now. We're selling a bit faster, so that could bite us in the butt pretty soon. So we might actually have another stall here built, which is my plan anyway, but I might actually have to speed it up faster. I also want to move, or at least place this guy down here so we can get rid of him. That's going to be fine. We could upgrade this one. Let's think about looking for some people to hire in regards to getting them trained, but we need another higher room for that. So let's actually upgrade here. We can hire one more person now, which is fine. And might as well upgrade this here too. 46 of 50. We're going to need one more battery room here pretty soon. Maybe up here wouldn't be too bad. Okay, let's um, hire some muscle heads for us here. Or do we get another stall happening for, produ for, for production? Yeah, yeah. We're actually going through that pretty fast now. Let's build another weed room. Or, you know, do we want to, you know, we not just, just sell weed, we could move over to something else. I mean, that's a possibility, too. Remember, we could sell more than one type of drug here. I just limit myself to weed all the time, but I don't really have to. You know what? Let's do that. Let me go ahead and just make the battery room that we do require first. And I'm thinking instead of weed, we actually start producing something else. We just need to find the right product uh, producer for that, though. But as long as we get that up and running, we should be fine. Who is the better producer right now? We have 3.2 with Barry. Okay, not amazing, but it's okay. 2.5 with Maurice. Okay. Uh, there's the battery room they needed. Let's go ahead and upgrade it one more time. Good. Spending money, but we're making money in the flip side. Let's hire. Who do we have here? Producers. Nobody really great. Uh, health, health, and health. Hmm. Well... Um, I prefer damage. 8.5 isn't too bad, especially because you're going to have a pretty big um, health pool. So there is that. Ah, eh, sure, you know what? Let me hire you. It's a lot of money for this guy. But sure, let's go ahead and get him up and running. Where's this dude at? Hey, where are you at? There you go. You going to go train? There you go. You know exactly what I was going for. Let's go ahead also and um, upgrade your station here. We will go and give you this one, which is going to be training 75% faster, but your stamina is going to go down faster as well. But that's okay. You'll train faster, which is the most important thing. There you go. Good. You got a little bit of water fountain in there. You got your own locker. You're good to go, dog. Now, the only problem with doing this right now is that we do need another person to produce, but we don't really have a pretty good pool of people to hire from. That's not it, Falcon. We don't have that, that much of a good pool, so we have to wait 32 seconds for another person to pop in. We have to hope we'll get another producer right now, because otherwise I'm going to have to spend my hard-earned money to get another pool of people to choose from. That's going to be 500, which is a little bit too much money that I'm really willing to spend. 500 is more of a investment I want to make if I want to make another room and, and the upgrade for it. But just for another pool of people that might not even be the producer that I'm looking for, isn't really my cup of tea, if you know what I'm saying here. So... I hope you guys can continue just producing fast enough to keep people coming in and out, because we're selling a bit faster now, and that worries me. But, um, yeah. 
We definitely need that, that stall. So what I'm gonna do right now really quickly as well is get that one up and running. Which one do we want to make though? Have we come to that conclusion yet? No, we have not. Um, I guess we could start off with acid first, right? It's gonna require seven, five, how's our power supply? Pretty good. Now the thing is that we need a pretty good person for production of acid. So that's what we have to kind of really focus on here. So I'll place this down now. This guy leveled up here, gonna get some rest. Good on you, good on you. Rest over there too, good. Okay, so everything's over here moving along pretty nicely. So what else do we have to do meanwhile? 12, uh, yeah, the move pool, or the hiring. Oh, perfect, it was a dude that it's actually a producer, great. We have Ron, 1.9, really good. Yes, pick up Ron. And let's see, you're already maxed out at 3.2, right? So I'm gonna have, no, no, no. Ron, let's move you over here for a while. Barry, since you're maxed out, you start working on that one. Ron, you start working on the weed. Level up on that, we'll have the better of everybody, f for now anyway, until he caps out. Because more than likely, Ron's gonna more than likely have a better cap out than this guy. Because he's already at 1.9, and this guy's already capped at 3.2, maxed out. So, he should be better in the long run. But for now, obviously, this guy is the better acid producer. So, that's cool. Alrighty. Move that acid up here. You guys are gonna sell acid too, right? You better. You used to do it all the time before. Don't tell me you needed an acid stall, okay? That's bullshit. I understand how the game works now. Uh, at least I like to tell myself that. Okay. Somebody grab acid just so... Give me a sense of uh, confirmation here by moving some acid up there. To a vending stall, please. Good god. I don't think we're producing fast enough still, honestly. Good god. Okay. Uh, let's go and upgrade this bad boy and give it the production of, uh, 200 for stamina. 200, uh... Is that worth it? Just production 150? Twice as fast production? It's gonna be tired sooner, though. That could probably work for somebody, like, over here where the walk isn't too far, you know? So, for this one, how about we just do production with that one? Okay. So we'll keep an eye on stuff right now. We might want to actually get another stall happening pretty soon, too. We're selling a bit faster, which is good. It means more money for us, but at the same time, if we can't keep the product stocked... You know, junkies, man. They don't like to wait around too much. They're crazy. Crazy dudes. Okay, let's see about... Well... This has to be moved down here, too. Uh, yeah. So let's build... The old... Employee room over here. We want to get rid of that one, so we'll probably get another stall happening here pretty soon. Acid's being stocked up here pretty high, but acid is not being moved to the stalls. Just wheat for now. How you doing here, dog? Yeah, take that up there and get some rest in you. You might want to just get some rest now. No, oh, this guy's in the way. God damn it! No, no, get some rest. Excuse me. You were supposed to get some rest. Get the rest now. Okay, good. Acid man, come over here. Get the rest now too. Okay. I need you guys in tip-top shape. Okay, so weed is about to go off the shelves, and we're going to start pushing some of the acid over. Alrighty. Hey, guys, yeah, you're looking for weed? We don't got weed, but hey, we have acid. <laughs> you want a real trip? I'm telling you, weed's just a gateway drug in this game. Alright. Uh, let's see if, um, by any chance, by any chance, we have another producer here? No. Absolutely not. 1.1 is really not the number we're looking for. We have 2,400. I guess we're going to probably have to... Rotate this here a bit. Come on. Come on. Give me a good row. Terrible row. 1.3 isn't too bad, but still, it should be higher. But, you know what? 500 more right now. Do we want to try it? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, good God. One more time. Okay, there we go. Uh, 1.6? Really? You should have gone with the 1.3 guy. It would have cost me 1,500 less. Well, we have no choice but to do it now, though, right? So, yeah, we'll pick this bad boy up, I guess. Sellability, is, sellability isn't really too bad for a producer as well. So, yeah, we'll pick him up. And build room over here. We want to get probably one more grow box happening. Oh, wait, wait. We want it over here. So, let's see here. We want to upgrade this first. This will be demolished here pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we can demolish it. Yes. Okay, we'll get the grow box happening. You don't have to train, dog. Just, just hang out up here for a while. I'll get your grow box happening pretty soon. Build room. Uh, grow box right there. Okay. How's our power? 64 or 65. We're not going to be able to upgrade the station anytime soon unless we get another battery. That's okay. We will just let him work regularly here. We just wanted to get some more um, product being pushed up here. 
the shelf is being stocked up a bit more nicely now, especially with the acid production too, so maybe that's helping us out quite a little bit here. Okay, now you work over here. There you go. And we'll get you an upgrade pretty soon. I'm going to probably build another battery right here, I'm going to say. How's our money? 722? We spent a lot yesterday. That's okay. It was an important cost, that's for sure. We'll place this right here. Alrighty. How's your train coming along, dog? Pretty good. A lot of HP on you. Pretty decent damage. 12.4. You're not going to have too high damage. Yeah, you're not a fighter. You had more health. That was your main characteristic there, so that would explain it. That would explain it quite a bit. Alright, so you move over there. Good. Okay, I think we now have a stable thing happening, right? Bunch of acid on the um, shelves as well. We're selling weed, we're selling acid. Money's coming in a lot better now. We have the productivity to actually upkeep this. Pretty good. I'm going to say pretty good so far. We might as well also upgrade this since it's here. Alrighty, and that should be the last of our expenditures here for a while. At this point now, we just waited out here a little bit to get some more money. So, I think it's a perfect time to wrap it up again. Here's what I'm proposing we do. I will let this run in the background here a little bit. Just in the background, and I'll probably kept get up some more money and then next episode we can start thinking about moving or start kicking some asses on the side and expanding a little bit not too much like we did with the acid last time because it kind of bit me in the butt but um a little bit of expansion and i'll let this run in the background get some money so we're good to go next episode around that is if there is another episode that is of course um, let me know again if you guys want to see me continue going forward i will do so otherwise we will wrap it up here and i hope you enjoyed it for what remained of it i will catch you next time